I want you to see that it's the will, delight, and purpose of God for you to have a happy countenance always. You can tell a lot about someone just by looking at their face. You can see if everything is good or if something is bothering them. Your countenance shows a lot about your present situation. And this is why you should not worry. God says that you should be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication through thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to Him. Our verse for today tells us that the state of your face is also dependent upon your answer to a religious question. Is it dependent upon your answer to the question of who you trust for help? Ultimately, do you trust God, the source of all things and the sustainer of all things? Your answer has important facial implications. If you place your trust in God, then our verse says He will put a smile on your face. That is, He will reward your trust by helping you and as a result, make you happy. This does not mean that believers in God are never sad. A cursory reading of the Psalms is enough to prove that point. But it does mean that God will come through in times of trouble and turn your sad face into a happy face. It means that ultimately, at rock bottom, the person who trusts God has a lot to be happy about, even if things are not going well. Jesus says it this way in John 16, verse 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Though tribulations, afflictions, trouble, and persecution may arise, he says you should be of good cheer. Cheer means a positive mood, happiness, and a joyful spirit, and that's what God seeks to put on your faces. Further, if you place your trust in God, our verse says that you will not need to be ashamed. That is, God will reward your trust by helping you, and as a result, remove whatever shame you felt about the situation. This does not mean that believers in God never have any reason to be ashamed. Again, the Psalms themselves prove that point. But it does mean that God will help when needed, and thereby remove the shame on your face. It means that those who trust in God will overcome their shame. There is nothing wrong with your face that cannot be corrected by more trust in God. Jacob finally had a child with Rachel, the woman he loved. Joseph was born to Jacob in his old age, and he loved him more than his other sons. Joseph became the object of his brother's jealousy. They hated him, and their hatred grew when he told them about his dream, in which he was ruling over them. They wanted to kill him and throw him inside a pit. Later, they decided to sell him as a slave to the Midianites, who later sold him to the Egyptians. They lied to the father that Joseph was killed by a wild animal and brought him false evidence. Jacob cried and believed that his beloved son was dead. Indeed, it was over. Joseph was never going to be seen. A tragedy had happened, and Jacob knew he was going to live with it his entire life. That's what he thought, but that was not a tragedy at all. Things were unfolding according to the perfect plan of God. A severe famine came into the world, and God used Joseph to provide the solution to Pharaoh. He then later decided that no one could implement the solution better. Joseph was promoted to be the prime minister of Egypt, second just after Pharaoh himself. His brothers later on came back to Egypt to buy food, and to their greater surprise, Joseph revealed himself to them on their second visit. He requested them to go and bring his father. When Jacob heard the news, he was stunned and could not believe it. But despite the numerous pieces of evidence, he finally agreed that his son he thought was dead all these years is alive. His spirit was revived. Jacob went to Egypt with his entire family and met Joseph with his own eyes. 
What he thought was over was not over, but restored by God. May you know through this that God is not finished with you. God doesn't play games with your life. God is responsible for your destiny. He is the maintainer of your lot. When you think it's over, it's not over. God will revive your spirit. God will revive your life. God will revive your marriage, your finances, your family, and your career. Don't give up. Continue to trust Him, and soon He will put a smile on your face again. Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, He it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Deuteronomy 31, verse 6. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are the three patriarchs of the church. They are the founding fathers of Christianity, and their stories are indicative of what will happen to a child of God. Notice that they all went through a phase in their life where it seemed that it was too late. But ultimately, it was not. This is a clear message from God that must not be missed. It will never be too late for his child. God will put a smile on your face again. It'll never be too late for you. Trust God and believe that no matter your situation, he will show up for you with a miracle. He is the God that changeth not. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If he has made you smile before, he will put a smile on your face again, so trust him. Avoid the influence of your sights and facts. The believer makes advancement or progress by faith, and not by his or her sensory receptors or perceptions. The just shall live by faith. Have you lost the laughter in your life? Sometimes we do, but that's not good. Proverbs 17 verse 22 tells us that a merry heart does us good like a medicine. And as we look into the word of God today, we see that God wants to put a smile on your face. Though some bad days will come to us, our Heavenly Father surely wants the best for us. He even wants to put a smile on your face again. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to give you hope and a future. God had put together a plan for the children of Israel, and God has a plan for your life too. He's got a plan for today. He wishes above all things that you prosper and be in good health. That's the plan of God for you, always. He gave us his son, and he said, How shall we not with the son freely given us all things that we need? Trust in God and his purposes for you. He will put a smile on your face again. The devil might try to make everything look bad for you, but better days are ahead. Always put to memory the plan God has for you. The plan of God for you are littered around the scriptures. He'll put a smile on your face. Don't forget that Abraham struggled to get a child. Joseph was sold by his brothers. And Jesus went through pain and agony, but they all didn't give up. They waited on the Lord and he answered them. He made them smile again. He will surely make you smile again. What is the situation? What does it look like now? Do you feel like giving up? Are you tired of waiting on God? I'd like to ask you some other questions now, like what is the capacity you have? What can you believe? Because your belief will always determine your experiences. Whether you would have a blossomed full life is tied to what you believe. God will put a smile on your face again. He's done it before and he will do it again. The Bible says that there are no ifs among believers. Anything is possible. You will smile again. Just look unto God who is the author of our faith, and he will definitely, surely put a beautiful smile on your face again.